Well, well, there is someone who requested that song, and I hope you've been blessed. That is on our Facebook page, at Y254. Right now, about now, let us dive into our inspiration vibe, see what God has prepared. Last Sunday, I began the journey of the blood of Jesus, and just explaining the authority and the legality that the blood of Jesus has upon our lives. Because if you go in the realm of the Spirit, legally, the blood of Jesus always speaks greater things, speaks louder, speaks more powerful with more authority than any other blood and today we want to talk about redemption redemption the blood of jesus christ and we look at ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 i'm going to read ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 that says in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his glory when you talk about redemption because our topic today is the redemption through the blood of jesus redemption is like uh, is is like buying back is buying back so when you look at the setting of the old testament and the new testament in the bible in generally you you could see that people are being sold into slavery there's a lot of there was a lot of oppression, people, the Israelites being sold to slavery and stuff like that. So when um, you are a slave and you need to be, to like to be released from the slavery from your master, someone who has maybe more authority or more richer uh, has to come with uh, finances or money or whatever it is to give to the person who has taken you to slavery, then they release you back so he used currency or even it's an animal or well, financial gold or silver or whatever it is to give to the person who has taken you to slavery then they then you are released from the master and you become free you are free so that's what we call redemption buying back the act of giving money and you take back that person that was what we call redemption and when it comes to lying to us christian legally in the spiritual you know when adam the first man automatically became because we are uh, we are we are, we are from adam you get um, we are from adam so automatically we are sinners but that point when you say you are getting born again God is buying you back. And salvation and the blood of Jesus is part of spiritual blessings that we get from God. So God is simply buying us back through the blood of Jesus Christ. So Jesus had to die, not born of man, because if he was born of man, he will also be a sinner. But Jesus is blameless. Is, a, is that blameless sacrifice that God needed, that blood, his blood, buy us back from slavery because when we are sinners we are slaves to sin we are given ourselves automatically to the devil you're born a sinner as in you go to in the kingdom of darkness for god to read to bring you back to his kingdom he has to use the blood of jesus and that is what we call redemption through the blood of jesus christ so god used the blood of jesus to redeem us back to himself and that is called redemption we'll be looking at it a lot and lot and deeper and deeper this is just the tip of the iceberg so don't go anywhere every sunday 11 a.m to one come to the end of the show i know tired, but i want to appreciate everyone that tuned in today i want to appreciate the um, the amazing guest who joined us today there was masi mangi and i am Mukampo with his entire dancing team, which i've really loved and I really enjoyed and also the president right here uh, Yes. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so grateful also to everyone who made the show a success. Yeah, from 